Hi, boys and girls, it's Miss Leanne, and I wanted to get back with you and talk to you about a new lesson, which is to round whole numbers. Your objective today is that you can use place value, and please remember, we keep talking about place value. You can use place value to round numbers. We have a vocabulary word, again, it's rounding. And right here with this vocabulary word, I really like how they are using this picture of the number line. And they're saying is 634 closer to 600 or 700. They're using these, this number line here. We have 600, we have 700, and we found the halfway mark, which is 650. They plotted about where 634 was to find out and to round 634. So rounding. Rounding is a process that determines which multiple of 10, 100, 1,000, and so on a number is closest to. And I'm going to highlight this right here because this is place values. The tens place, the hundreds place, the thousands place, and so on and so forth. So it's really important that you know that when you're rounding that your number is always going to end in a zero. It's important to notice that when you're rounding numbers, you can round to any place value. So we're going to take the number 292,430 and we're going to round that to the nearest thousand. So since we're rounding to the nearest thousand, the point is, is that you have to find the thousands place. You find the thousands place, and then you're going to look to the place at the right, which is right here. Once you look at the place to the right, you are going to then have a bossy number. Our bossy number is four, the number to the right. So that's the hundreds, the four is in the hundreds place, and it's gonna tell us what to do. So here's the idea. If your bossy number, like the four right here, if your bossy number is four or smaller, you're going to round down. So the bossy number, if it's four, three, two, or one, you round down to the nearest place. Or if your bossy number is five, six, seven, eight, or nine, you're going to round up to the next place. So much like our vocabulary card right here where they took the number 634 and they placed it on a number line, between 600 and 700, I also created a number line to help myself round. My original number is 292,430. I created this number line because I am rounding to the nearest thousand. In the thousands place is a two, so it's 2,000. So my number is going to have to come between 292,000 or 293,000. So on this number line, I know in the middle of 2,000 and 3,000 is 2,500. So I broke this up into 10 equal pieces. 292,430 is about right here. For me to get to the nearest thousand going this way, which is 292,000, I only had to do one, two, three, four hops. For me to get from 292,430, I had to hop one, two, three, four, five, six. Coming this way was a lot less of a move. I had had less hops to get to this thousands place. So 292,430 is closer to 292,200,000. The next thing that I would like to show you is a song that helps us remember when we're rounding. 
This is the We Will Round You rap, much like We Will Rock You, but I'm gonna go ahead and sing it. Sorry, it's not perfect. I apologize in advance. But it goes, we will, we will round you. Find the place, look next door, five or greater, add one more. All the digits in the front stay the same, all the digits behind, zero's your name. We will, we will round you. Okay, so I sang that for you once. I want you guys to kind of get that into your head. I'll probably be singing it while I work with you to help you remember how to round larger numbers. The first number I'm going to have us look at is 573,459. And I would like to round that to the nearest thousand. So I see that the three is in the thousands place, which is tricky because I also have a five in the hundred thousands and a ten and I mean and a seven in the ten thousands. But we're rounding to the nearest thousand, the three right here. So that means that there's other numbers around this three in the thousands place that we're gonna have to figure out what to do. So I, as always, am going to tell you guys to build a place value table. And I have six digits, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I put six places in my place value table. My number gets plugged in right here, 573,459. We are rounding to the nearest thousand. So I underline the three in the thousands place. I found the place. This is the place. You look next door. This is your bossy number. Is it five or greater? No. So we're not going to add one more. We're not adding one more to this. So the numbers in the front of this, they stay the same. All the numbers in the back, zero's your name. So again, find the place, look next door, five or greater, nope. Add one more, we cannot, it is not five or greater. So the numbers in the front stay the same. The numbers in the back, zero's your name. One more example. Our number is, 577,842. We're going to be rounding that to the nearest 10,000. And I see that this seven right here is in the 10,000s place. Again, which is interesting because I have numbers in front of and behind this seven in the 10,000s place. So I'm going to build my place value table. Again, super important. I have one, two, three, four, five, six numbers in my, or digits in my number. So I do one, two, three, four, five, six places in the place value chart. I'm going to then plug these numbers into the place value chart right here. I'm rounded to the nearest 10,000. So I'm looking right here in the 10,000s place. There's a seven. I found the place. I look next door. There's my bossy seven. Is it five or greater? Yes, it is. So I'm going to add one more into the 10,000s place where I'm rounding to. So find the place, look next door, five or greater, yes it is. Add one more to the place you're rounding to. So the numbers in the front, which is this, the five, it will stay the same. And then I have to do my add one, add one more. The numbers in the back, zero is your name. So I'll do that one more time. We have 577,842 to the nearest 10,000. Right here, find the place, look next door, five or greater, yes it is. Add one more. The numbers in the front stay the same. Adding that one, numbers in the back, zero is your name. So we're going to keep practicing the skill and rounding to the nearest place value.